Now, for anyone who just said uh, that Hamilton should be shot in this scene, I don't disagree. That is a weird reaction, man. Eh? Can you stop looking at him like that? Hello everyone, I'm Mark Daniel Patrick. Thank you so much for checking out the channel. If you were here at all with us last week, you already know what's coming and it's this bad boy right here. I can't believe how many people in the comments said to me how much they love it already. I didn't realize it was so popular, which just absolutely warms my heart. It really does. So treat yourself, go get a bottle. Um, I feel like we should play a drinking game with it in a future video. Uh, like say like every time I say the word beautiful or something, we'll take a shot because we could polish a bottle in about 20 minutes, I'll tell you. Every time I go to edit these videos, beautiful seems to be the only adjective I know. That's what I get out of editing all the time. So, not sponsored yet, but go get yourself a bottle and uh, and we could play that drinking game in a future video. All right, let's get to a couple comment shoutouts from last week's video, which was Helpless by the incredible Philippa Sue. If you haven't seen that video, I'll throw it up top. Go watch that one as well. So this comment comes to us from Nala and she says, find you a person who looks at you the way Mark looks at the cast of Hamilton. Yeah, guilty. It's true. I've heard it so many times before. I think when I made uh, videos on Jonathan Groff as well, so many people said, can you stop looking at him like that? Trust me, I see it when I edit as well. I just, I, I can't change the look on my face in the editing room. It's just, by that point, it's just long gone and I have to just deal with the repercussions. But uh, yeah, thanks, Nella. Uh, not the first person and you won't be the last one to say that for sure. Our next comment comes to us from Catherine. She says, I'd be absolutely thrilled if a vocal coach finally made a video of Say No to This. My queen, Jazzy Cephas Jones, deserves some recognition as well. All of their voices are just drool emoji four times over. Well, Catherine, hey, you came to the right place. And if you're getting tired of Hamilton content, please let me know below. But I feel like we're on too much of a roll to stop now. And since this was by far the most requested song last week, because apparently it doesn't get enough attention on YouTube, let's go ahead and fix that now. This is Jasmine Cephas Jones and Lin-Manuel Miranda performing Say No to This. Nothing like summer in the city. Someone under stress that meets cello. someone looking pretty. There's trouble in the air, you can smell it. And Alexander's by himself. I'll let him tell it. I hadn't slept in a week, I was weak, I was awake. You've never seen a bastard orphan more in need of a break. Longing for Angelica, missing my wife. That's when Miss Mariah Reynolds walked into my life. She said, I know you are a man of honor. I'm so sorry to bother you at home, but I don't know where to go. And I came here all alone. She uh. said, my husband's doing me wrong, beating me, cheating me, mistreating me. Suddenly he's up and gone. I don't have the means to go on. So I offered her a loan. Like, I can't even listen to the lyrics, which are horrible, but she, because that tone of her voice is just so, uh, it's so uh, sultry and, and just sexy for this, this type of, this type of track. Um, you know, that melody really doesn't move for her much there. It stays in one little pocket, but she just, oh, she glides right through it so beautifully. That's so good. When I offered to walk her home, she said, you're too kind, sir. I gave her 30 bucks that I had socked away. She lived a block away, she said, this one's mine, sir. Then I said, well, I should head back home. She turned red. She led me to a bed, let her legs spread and said, hey, hey, hey. That's when I began to pray, Lord, show me how to say no to this. I don't know how to say no to this, but my God, she looks so helpless. And her body's saying, hell yes. Wow, Now, for anyone who just said uh, that Hamilton should be shot in this scene, eh, don't disagree. This should, this really should be the scene. Any character, it doesn't matter who it is, when you have a line that says she looks so helpless and her body saying hell yes, you deserve to be shot in that moment. the la 
last time I said that last time It became a pastime A month into this endeavor I received a letter from a Mr. James Reynolds Even better, it said Dear sir, I hope this letter finds you in good health And in a prosperous enough position To put wealth in the pockets of people like me Down on they luck You see, that was my wife who decided to Uh oh You made the wrong sucker a cuck hole So time to paint the pipe up the pants you so good And hey, you can keep seeing my whole wife If the price is right If not, I'm telling your wife I hit the letter and I raced to a place Screamed, I'll put you in the face She said, no Apologetic, a mess, she looked pathetic, she cried Please don't go aside So what's your whole story, you said I don't know about any letter Stop crying, God damn it, get her I didn't know any better Please don't leave me with the helpless I'm oh, gonna do this Just give him what he wants and you can help me I don't want you, I don't want you, I don't want you. I'm sorry to stop right here, but look how easily she climbs up that to get to that note. Oh, this song sits so low, but she she really belts out that top note quite well. I did, this is it's such a it's such a '90s uh, soul sort of r and B. I think I think I read one critic described it as the best '90s jam that R. Kelly didn't write, which is actually quite ironic because I think he wrote the script of this scene, uh, just maybe not the song. Nobody needs to know. Eh? That is a weird reaction, eh? But, uh, so, nobody needs to know. Everyone picked that up. Uh, maybe a little last five years in there. Um... That's so good. It's it's such a great. I mean, I can see kind of see maybe why it doesn't get a lot of attention. Um, maybe because the context of it is just absolutely ridiculous and just absolutely disgusting in a way. But just Jasmine isn't where that sits in her voice. The tone she has, the control she has over that. Normally, in a female vocalist, maybe you see a lot of that top register uh, coming out in in those you know those high notes. But she really has that that control over that that lower register quite well and she's just absolutely gorgeous throughout this entire piece for sure if you haven't seen there's a great comedian Catherine ryan who does a five minute dissertation on just this piece alone uh it's on netflix you should really i encourage you to go check it out because she's absolutely hilarious and gives some really great context to the scene and really kind of how disgusting it is but but from a vocal standpoint, I would agree. Jasmine doesn't get the recognition she deserves because uh, she's an absolute powerhouse in this cast as well. All right, that's all the time we have for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to leave me a comment of what you thought of this video and what you'd like to see in the future. Until next time, I'm Mark Daniel Patrick, and thanks so much for watching.